There will be times that try your heart so severely that everything in you wants to quit. Everything in you wants to collapse. Everything in you wants to go down. Everything in you wants to go crazy. There are times that you're going through adversity and that you feel alone. You're in the midst of a storm and it is what you do when you are alone that determines how much you really learn. It's what you do when nobody's looking. It's how you react to the issues of life. The ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. Anybody can be strong in comfort. Anybody can be powerful when you're not challenged. But when life gets through punching you in the gut and the eye and the head and you get through losing people and burying people and going through sickness and trauma and injustice of all types, it will humble you. Whatever you do, don't lose your head. Pull your feelings out of it. Pull your insecurities out of it. Your vulnerabilities and stand on what you know. Yes, the road's been bumpy. Yes, the road's been tough. Yes, the road's been difficult. Yes, you've shed some tears. And yes, you've endured some pain. But it is the bumpy road to better. You can't get to better without bumpy. You can't get to better without pain. You can't get to better without tears. There is no pill you can take. There is no simple solution. It is the bumpiness of the road that leads you to better. Whatever you're going through right now, it's happening on purpose in order to forge you into the person that you were created to be ultimately. But if you quit, you will never get to be the person that you were created to be. Mighty men of valor, they accept the challenge of life. They accept responsibility. They don't blame everybody for everything. They say, I'm saying I was wrong about it, but this is what I'm going to do to fix it. Doesn't mean that you always get it right. It means you don't run home to mama when you get it wrong. You stay there and work it out and put it back together again because you're a mighty man of valor. See, if it was easy, if you had to be smart to do it, all the pretty people, all the brains would make all the money, have all the responsibility. Thank goodness it's tough. Thank goodness you got to get down there and slop it up. It's your ability to compete, to pick yourself up off the bat one more time, to go for it one more time that's going to determine success or failure. Nobody can motivate you long range. The only real motivation that lasts comes from inside. Cover your head, cover your thoughts, cover the words that are coming into your mind, cover what you're saying to yourself. What you are saying to yourself determines whether you win or lose. What you say to yourself has all the world to do with how far you can go. The rain falls on the just and the unjust. Everybody in here goes through hell and high water and sometimes life ain't fair. This is no time to lose your head. This is no time to quit. This is no time to faint. This is no time to collapse. This is no time to give in. Lay your hands on your head and say, give me a new mind. Give me a new mind means give me a new perspective. Give me a new perspective. Give me a new way of looking at my situation. Give me a new way of looking at my circumstances. Dump out all jealousy, all pettiness, all unforgiveness, all strife, all malice, all confusion, all blame other people for your mistake. Get rid of every poison that's hindering you. I'm going to press my way. When it gets tough, I'm going to press my way. When I get tired, I'm going to press my way. When it's not convenient, I'm going to press my way. When my heart is broken, I'm going to press my way. When I'm rejected, I'm going to press my way. When I'm broke, I'm going to press my way. When I'm despaired, I'm going to press my way. That means that you've been kicked, you've been shoved, and you've been shot, but you're still standing on your post ready to fight the good fight. That means that you can take a licking and keep on ticking. That means you've been through hell and back, but you're still standing. Your eye may be black, and your teeth may be busted, and your lip may be swollen, but you look the devil in his eye, and you say, baby, I'm still here. Discouragement can creep in secretly and tell you life is not worth living. 
If you listen at discouragement, you will wonder if you're ever going to get out of what you're into. Don't make a permanent decision over a temporary circumstance. If you don't like where you're at, don't worry about it. It's just a step. You don't like how you feel right now? Stop crying. It's just a step. Why are you up all night crying, weeping and worrying over one step in the whole topography of your life? You can't judge your life by where you are in this moment. Do you not know that what you're worried about will pass? Don't you understand that one day you're going to look back and laugh at the thing that kept you up all night? Don't you understand that it's not nearly as major as you thought it was? You can live without your house. You can live without your car. You can live without your friend. You can live without your husband. You can live without your wife. I measure the value of a man by how hard he presses. How hard you press tells me how hard you hit. Energy is measured by motion. That's why the devil wants you to sit and feel sorry for yourself. But you ought to blow the devil's mind this morning. Just when he think he got you down, you ought to shock him and press. You better not start crying on the steps. You better not give up on the steps. You better not collapse on the steps. I don't care whether it's sunshine or rain, pleasure or pain. When you get up in the morning, put your pants on and press. And you got to believe even if there's no reason to believe. And everything appeared to be going wrong, you're working on your dreams, and somebody that you love and trust decide to walk out on you, you still got to believe. When you see those things that you've been working on crumble in your face, you still got to believe. When friends who should be a source of strength and encouragement, relatives who should be there to inspire you and motivate you and tell you, you can't do it, you still got to believe. With no money in your pocket and many times more month left at the end of the month than after your money, you don't know how you're going to make it, you know your paycheck gone before you get it, you still got to believe. I don't care what it takes. I don't care how many speeches I have to give, how many seminars I have to give. I know I ain't got the money. I know I don't have the education, but I ain't gonna let that stop me. I'm gonna do it. I fought my way up. I fought to get up on my feet. I fought to carry on. I fought to live. I fought to get out of the bed. I fought with my fears, my anxieties, my insecurities. I fought with haters, liars, backbiters, and betrayers. And many times I laid in the bed. I couldn't go to sleep because I was fighting with myself. I fought. I lost a lot of friends. I lost a lot of strength. I lost a lot of time. I lost a lot of money. Down on my knees, I was still believing. Broke, I was believing. Lonely, I was believing. Betrayed, I was still believing. And no matter what you're going through, as long as you still have breath in your body, as long as you're still alive, you're still in the game. Because anytime you wake up and you don't have a white chalk outline around your body, it's a great day. It's possible you can live your dream. And if life's got you backed up, who can't quit? Who can't give up? Who can't stop? You fail the class, get back up and try again. You lose a job, get back up and try again. You put all your money in investment, get back and try it again. If you start a business and it don't work, don't stop, don't quit. Your obstacles are not obstacles. They're there to teach you. They're there to forge you into a fucking machine. You are one idea away from what you saw in your dreams. You are one idea idea away because out of your head comes your thoughts and out of your thoughts comes your companies your self-perception your creativity and so every now and then you need to get your head together have you ever had anything bring you to the point that you wasn't sure if you could get out of this Somehow, it's not the one thing, but it's everything. It's everything you went through all the years before. And to find out that the things are never going to stop coming at you, that finally brings you to the point that you say, you know what, I'm not sure I want to get up out of the bed in the morning if all I got to face is another fight. Maybe you have doubt in your life. Maybe you don't know for sure what's going to be happening in the future and it scares you. Just that fear paralyzes you. And I just want to ask you today, do you think you have hope? You can't stop life from happening. You can do something about it. Life is 10% what happened to you. is 90% what you do about it. You got to stop tripping every time something happened to you like it's the end of the world. It ain't. It's not the end until you've given up.
Either you lie to yourself and get bitter and blame everybody for your own weaknesses or you strengthen yourself. You see, muscle, muscle is created by repeatedly lifting things that have been designed to weigh us down. So when your shoulders feel heavy, stand up straight, lift your chin, hell, call it exercise. Remember that life is a gym membership with a really complicated cancellation policy. Remember that you will survive. Remember things could be worse. Remember we are never ever given anything that we can't handle. When the world crumbles around you, you have to look at the wreckage and then build a new one out of all the pieces that are still here. Remember you are still here, the human heart beats approximately 4,000 times per hour and each pulse, each throb, each palpitation is a trophy engraved with the words, you are still alive. You are still alive. Act like it. If you don't have something in front of you, you stop fighting, you stop dreaming, you stop reaching. You need to have something that knocks you to your knee. You'll never discover what's inside of you until something challenges you. Life don't give you what you want. Life gives you what you will excel. If you will excel failure, hardships, disappointment, that's exactly what life's going to give you, right? If you want to win, you got to show up and demand for yourself success and fulfillment and happiness. In spite of all those feelings every day of just giving up, of just quitting, in spite of all that, it's going to be your ability somehow to muster up the courage, to flush that out, to reach down deep and find something inside of you that will allow you to go for it one more time. Adversity defines true character. Don't quit. Don't collapse. Don't faint. Don't give in. Don't succumb to depression. Either way you go, you got to fight. All of us, we got the same envy. We're going to die. So if you know you're going to die, why are you playing it safe? I'm going to build something. I'm going to make something happen. I am not going to live and die and not leave anything in the earth as a sign that I was here. I'm going to build something. I will not settle. Even if I have to start over. Even if it took longer than I expected. Even if I have to make payments. Even if I have to crawl on my belly. I will not give up on my dreams. I will not neutralize my tenacity. I will not give up on my integrity. I will fight every day. If you knock me down, you will have to do it tomorrow till I'll get back up again. I will not go quietly away into the night. I promise you guys, success is the loneliest road out there. It's you and your shadow at the end. Because it's too f***ing hard. People are not going to be around you to motivate you. They're not going to be around you to push you, to celebrate you, to applaud you. You got to do it on your own. It's hard to keep going when no one is supporting you, when no one is clapping for you. And that is exactly why you have to become your own biggest fan. You really do have to believe in yourself when no one else does. Always keep going. Always. No matter what happens, the storm eventually ends. And when the storm does end, you want to make sure that you're ready. Because eventually that storm passes. Don't judge your destiny by your history. Being a warrior is not about the act of fighting. It's about believing in something so strong that's worth fighting for that you'll never quit. You will never, ever quit because it means so much to you. My strength is in my struggle. The level of battle you face is an indication of the level of blessings that you stand to receive. If you're up under attack, there's something to be gained. Because people don't fight people who don't build. If you weren't building anything, nobody would battle you. If you weren't going forward, they wouldn't fight you. You want to make your dream come true, you got to stay focused. Some people rather get even than get ahead. Stay focused on where you want to go. Championships aren't won in the theater or the arena. They're won in the thousands of hours in the training room, in the labs, in the 5 a.m. runs, when it's raining, when everyone else is sleeping. That's when it's won. The heart of a champion is a light switch that's always on. It doesn't go on and off when someone's watching. It's constant. It's how you look at something. If your name's attached to it, and you do it right, the best of your ability every single time. How bad do you want it? Do you want it bad enough to keep turning back? 
to look at it again. I don't know what it means, but it's drawing me. And I don't know what's going to come out of it, but some kind of way, my destiny tied to that. And I can't walk away. Your destiny is in the fire. If you run from the fire, you will run from your destiny. Your destiny is in the problem. Your destiny is in the storm. Your destiny is in the fight. If you want to be a diamond, you must go through extreme pressure. If you can't take pressure, then you're not a diamond. After you go through all the pressure you thought you could not handle, and you think it's over, then they turn on the heat. Once it goes through that type of pressure, and it finally becomes a diamond, at that point you can't break it no more. I've been broken so much. I've been defeated so much. I've been disappointed so much in my life that I know what it feels like. I can't handle it. Once you get to that point, you cannot be broken anymore. I dare you to take another step. You're right on the verge of stepping into your purpose, into your destiny. If you don't give up, if you don't baby yourself, if you go ahead and push yourself and get on up out of this mess, your whole life is about to change. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. But if you do what is hard, keep coming back again and again and again. Get up dressed every day, knowing some way, somehow, with a spirit of expectation. I can do this. If you do that over and over and over again, your life will be easy.